Dinner? At my place? No. Your place? Mm -mm. Lunch? Nope. Coffee? No. Okay, then, what about... No. Face it, Cam, it ain't happening. In fact, if you showed up on fire, I don't think she'd put you out. I read your proposal about getting a firehouse dog, and there's a problem. What? A poodle, Ed. Yeah, they're hypoallergenic. I got dog allergies. Ed, we're firefighters. Couldn't we get a Dalmatian or something? Think about a cute little fluffy poodle guy. We'll name him Lou. <laughs> nice view. Even better without the smoke. All eyes on me. The construction accident heavily damaged the middle floors. So we'll be starting from the top and working our way down. The priority is getting any office workers you can find to safety. Where's the chopper going? It'll be back with more firefighters to help with the back. Right now, we're on our own up here. So let's get to work. Come on! Real heroes don't leap tall buildings. We jump into them while they're burning. Hold on. No one's jumping anywhere till we ventilate these skylights. I've always wanted to do this. Vented, Lieutenant. Hey, Lou. The elevator shafts are really steaming. We better open them up. Rookie, grab a saw and get to work. Go to town on these babies. There's a ton of heat building up inside. Can you feel it? Get back! Whoa! Watch yourself, watch yourself. Think like the fire cabin. You almost got the good guy killed. Now, push back. Get a strong line on the blade. She's putting up a fight, man. Get 
how's that evac coming? We got a bunch of people trapped on the 35th floor, Lou. It ain't looking good. We need to get somebody down there. Stairwell's no-go. Proby, get down to 35. Use the elevator shaft if you can. Cameron, bring him a little extra muscle. You sure you got the right man for that job, sir? There's only one way into that elevator, and it's with this. <laughs> Without match, I guess you're the new daredevil. You see those flame jets? Careful! We're crying out loud. Hang on! It's exploding! Get out of there! I don't approve of those reckless heroics, but nice work. Captain, apparently the news studio is people in danger. How do you know? Well, they're still broadcasting. What? Proby, get those people out of there now! Everyone okay? Ed, what does the schematic say about another round? Uh, okay, uh, uh, give me a second. How's Max doing? He gonna be okay? Relax, Cam. We can't get rid of him that easy. Stay focused on the task at hand, people. Hey, Proby needs another round. I don't know what to tell you, Lou. Those office walls are really thin. I just have him grab an axe and start swinging. This is Gail Tamara reporting live from the scene of a major fire in a downtown high rise. Get them out of there! Folks, you need to evacuate. Even now, firefighters have reached us in our studio and we're being instructed to leave. But we'll try to keep the cameras rolling. Forget it, Gail, I'm getting out of here! Trapped in here! Something's blocking this exit. What do we do? But but my silver scoop! It's still in my dressing room! I have to go get it! Are you nuts? It's just an award! Let it go!
damn fire, we could have killed Channel 11 with this footage. I know. Sir, and we're working our way towards the stairs. The lower floors are under control. Thorpe, once you and the loose crews are in the stairwell, I want you guys to head toward the rooftop. If there's time, I'd really like for you to find my silver scoop award. I left it in my dressing room. You have no idea how important this is. All this for a glorified paperweight? Take him up to the evac chopper. Come with me, people, or the only store you'll be riding is an obituary. Probe, get back up to the 37th floor. Cameron needs a hand. Or two, or 30. Hey, Proby, let's do this. Get ready. It's bad. Well, this part is bad. But come with me.
Chairman, I need you up here on the rooftop. Roger. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we're moving out. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is good. 